All right, so finally got my parts in. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have our drilled and slotted rotors. Got some powder coated calipers here. Man, those are shiny. I don't know what I was expecting, but not, not to, yep, yeah, that was nice. Got the carbon fiber ceramic brake pads there. And uh, this was in the box for the pads. It actually came with extra boots, I guess. Got some hardware there, and there's also hardware here. Uh, yeah, so, and there's some brake grease there, obviously, but uh, yeah, I got all the hardware for the calipers and some extra boots. You can see, I mean, the boots are already on there, so those were just gonna be extras, but anyway, pretty happy with this purchase. I mean, yeah, this is. I like it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get these old ones off and get these things mounted up. Whew. All right, so my camera, I guess, overheated there. Or, well, I'm using my phone right now because my GoPro's dead, but anyway. Sheesh. That is, whew, so much better. Holy crap. The only thing was this little notch here to hold the brake line in. It was a little bit tight, and there's really not enough brake line there to kind of like pivot it over to that slot. So that's the only thing I really noticed. I had to kind of smack her in there and mess up the new powder coating on those calipers. But holy crap, that is like, eh? <laughs> yeah, I like it. So anyway, this one's good to go. It's all tightened down. I uh, got it all greased up and yeah, just gonna have to bleed the brakes. Um, after I do the other side, I'll throw some fluid in there, bleed the brakes, and do a little break in on the pads. There is actually recommended break in for the pads. Let's see, uh, five aggressive decelerations from 40 to 10 miles an hour, five moderate decelerations from 35 to 5. Drive slowly to cool down your brakes. So, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do this A little break in period once we get everything installed. The Blake, the blah, blah, the brakes. We're gonna get the Blake bad. <laughs> we're gonna bleed the brakes and yeah. Then we'll do that little break in period and see how they feel. Anyway, I'm gonna go swap over to the other side, bring all these parts with me.
So both sides from now on there. Just going to bring up a little thing here to bleed my brakes. I do have a vacuum brake bleeder, but eh, I'm just gonna do it this way. Or well, eh, yeah, I'm just gonna vacuum bleed them if I can find my vacuum bleeder. Oh. Okay, so may have forgot my vacuum bleeder, but I did have that little uh, pump thing from, you know, like for it's for gear oil and stuff like that. And I just use that to bleed the brakes for now. I'm going to uh, throw the tires back on there. Uh, start her up, see how the brakes feel, and also, uh, yeah, it's got enough fluid in there. I might have some fluid out in my Del Sol actually. I'll go check on that. Dang it, man, I just can't have nice things. Mount my ram up, freaking scratched it already. What the heck? It well, that oh, yeah, that'll oh, dang it, it'll come off of there. Okay, brick. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna throw this other tire on real quick and um, step on the brakes and see what she do. Got some stopping forces. Okay, so that's pretty much going to conclude this episode or video. Man, 